Hello students. Hey guys, Miss Corville here. I'm really glad to see you all back online. I hope that you're enjoying your time at home. I hope some of you are not overloading and just doing schoolwork all the time because you do need a break. That's why Miss Corville is trying to make all these little fun videos for you guys. The most important part is that we really need to laugh and enjoy reading because that's what I always do in my class. I have a great book I want to read to you, and it's called Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. Some of you may have already read it. The author's name, if you can see at the bottom, is Patty Lovell, and it is illustrated by David Capro. That's kind of a funny name, but so is Corbin. Stand Tall, Mary Lou Mellon. I'm sorry, not Mary. It's Molly. Oh my goodness, this couple has a lost of brain. Okay. Here we go, guys. Get ready. It's going to be a funny book. I hope you can hold back. I hope I can hold back my laughing. <laughs> Molly Lou Mellon stood just taller than her dog and was the shortest girl in first grade. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, walk as proudly as you can and the world will look up to you. Molly Lou Mellon had buck teeth that stuck out so far she could stack pennies on them. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, smile big and the world will smile right along with you. I love this picture is my favorite in the whole book. So, Molly did. Molly Lou Mellon had a voice that sounded like a burr squeezed by a boa constrictor. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, sing out clear and strong and the world will cry tears of joy. So, she did. Molly Lou Mellon often fumble-fingered, kind of like the principal. She didn't mind. Her grandma had told her, believe in yourself and the world will believe in you too. You have to see this picture too. She's way at the bottom if you can see her. And she did. Check her out. Then Molly Lou Mellon moved to a new town. Mm. What do you think is going to happen? She had to say goodbye to her grandma and all of her friends. How do you think she's feeling? And she had to start in a new school. And some of our new students at school know exactly how that feels. On the first day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Shrimpo in gym class. When the game started, Molly Lou Mellon caught the football, ran under the legs of Ronald Durkin, and scored a touchdown. All the children thought, Wow, she's good. And Ronald Durkin felt foolish. Mm -hmm, she showed them. On the second day of school, <laughs> move this a little bit. Thank you very much. Go this way. On the second day of school, Ronald Durkin called her Bucky Tooth Beaver. Mary Lou Mellon took out her pennies stacked ten high on her teeth and smiled as big as day. All the children smiled with glee and Ronald Durkin felt foolish. 
This is dipping in some buckets in this book. On the third day of school, Ronald Durkin said, You sound like a sick duck. Wah, wah. Mary Lou Mellon sang out, wah. so strong and clear that it made Ronald Durkin somersault backwards, hit his head, and had to go to the nurse. All the children cried with joy to be free of Ronald Durkin for the rest of the afternoon. Ronald Durkin felt very foolish. On the fourth day of school, Ronald Durkin said that she'd made the snowflake all wrong. But Molly Lou Mellon opened up her paper and revealed the most beautiful snowflake of all. All the children, ooh, ah, even Ronald. On the fifth day of school, Ronald Durkin brought Molly Lou Mellon a stocking penny for her tooth, and he smiled at her. That night, Molly Lou Mellon took out a pencil and paper and wrote a letter to her grandma. Dear Grandma, I wanted to tell you that everything you told me was exactly right. Love, Molly Lou Mellon. Now this is a great book. Think about it. First of all, Molly believed her grandma, which is really good. Her grandma was a great person who tried to uplift her and make her do her best. Um, and Molly listened. Molly didn't worry that she was short. She wasn't worried she had buck teeth. She wasn't worried she was fumble-fingered like her principal. Um, she was a very good believer in doing what her grandma told her. She believed. So when someone tells you something that is positive, you need to try to believe it. Don't let the size influence you. Don't let your teeth, don't let the way you look influence you. You go out there and rock the world. And soon, the people who are dipping in your bucket, like the Ronald Durkins in the world, uh, and we do have some of those that I know some of you know, I can remember my Ronald Durkins when I was in school. You stand up to them and show them that you can be better than them. Fill their buckets. That's what we're all about. I hope you enjoyed this book. This is a great little book. Uh, Stand Tall, Molly Lou Mellon. So when I see you back at school, I should see some students who have grown tall. Have a great day. I love you.